Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. Once again, this is your three. Today, we will be watching Chibi Reviews. Uh, you know, Mappa gets clown on anime about animators. I don't know what it is. What is this all about? Uh, but as far as I you know, Mappa actually literally genuinely just one of the uh, anime anime uh, anime uh studio that is kind of um, not good with their animators and you know you know it i know it everyone knows it with those drama about animators and mappa mappa actually just you know squeeze uh, everything to the animators every time you know every time that they have and i'm actually actually curious what could be what could be mappa doing right now how, how come that we actually have another video from chibi reviews is often chibi reviews about a mappa and it says mappa gets clown on by the entire anime community what did mappa do i don't know what did mappa do to be honest hey you yes you watching this before we continue craving more anime and chill games content join me live nearly every day on twitch at twitch.tv slash and follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash both links are in the description plus subscribe to my youtube channel uh, for more anime related content don't miss out hit the subscribe right now subscribe five four three two one subscribe Give me one second Crazier than the stories that we read or watch because but why why earlier this morning an anime called zenshu was announced. Zenshu. and if you're wondering what this is is this is the first time you have ever heard about it do not worry because this series does not have any existing work prior to the announcement today for instance it does so it doesn't have any light novel doesn't have any any manga doesn't have literally genuinely any source material literally okay does not have a manga this is an original anime i guess does not have a light novel does uh -huh. not have a web comic does not have uh -huh. a movie etc it is legit a new series being written by an animation studio okay and the animation studio that is working on it is out well i guess mappa right right ironic it is studio mappa and the story is about an animator or animator's lives working on anime. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine that. Dude, why did MAP approve this? What the heck, dude? Will they actually just, you know? How? How? Will they actually do some crazy shit with this anime? Will they actually just describe how how they treat the employees, how they treat their animators? Will they actually do it? You Ch Shirobako. Shirobako is one of the my anime list. Let's just go with anime list to anime list. Uh Shirobako. Shiro. Shirobako. Actually one of the good animes uh in the year 2014 that i watch it's all about animators how to create anime and all and you know the main character here is just the one who do the thing who transport the shit by shit by shit you know what i mean it, yeah the, the the main girl is actually the one who transporting every shit by shit by shit but this is a very cool very very cool anime to be honest yeah but anyways shirobako i guess I guess we will have a Shirobako 2.0, which will be animated by MAPPA, wherein we know it, I know it, I, everyone knows it, dude. MAPPA didn't even treat well their animators, 100%. We'll keep, keep it above, dude. They didn't even treat well. Literally and genuinely, dude. We know it, dude. And, anyone... and the MAPPA animators actually want to quit. Literally, they didn't have enough time to go to their family and all. They do so, so much overtime literally and genuinely that has not been living under a rock for the past year has definitely heard about the controversy of animators being overworked underappreciated and basically feeling like they live in a sweatshop and there has been quite big names within the industry that has just straight Dude, i want to watch the, the the it itself just hold on for a second let me just search it give me a second here let me just search this thing dude maybe i could find it twitter dude maybe i could find it in twitter dude give me a second is it is this it give me a second 
Oh shit, I, I oh shit, oh no 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 no. I mean this is it right? Uh yeah I guess. Okay, cool. It is just that my internet is not that quite great and my computer is not that quite good. I guess this is it right? Oh shit, am, am I correct or wrong? I just watch it dude and see it for ourselves. What is this? This is the first thing I saw. So this all done. Okay. I was in charge of the teaser for Mappa's original anime Zen so you you can enjoy the animation to the bone. Was okay. So she's the one who in charge for the teaser. This this dude. I mean this girl. I mean this I mean anyways. So you see what this is. Why is the quality actually so low? It's an 1080p dude, 1080p. Okay. So what? Okay. What? Where's the face? Where's the face? She doesn't even have a face. Oh, she has long hair, I guess. She dude, look at her. She doesn't even have the time to cut her hair doesn't even have a time for herself just do so so much thing for animation dude what why is the why is the panda's claw is actually kind of cute look 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 where's where this all look at that where is that where is is that it no 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 no, no. yeah yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. give me one second look is that a panda or a paw from a you know a you know the hero one is <laughs> It's kind of cute, dude, to be honest. It's kind of cute, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Give me one second. Go. Where's the subtitle? I mean, as far as I know, based on my anime knowledge, dude, she is saying that repeat. Rev revise. So, Zenshu means revise. It just. Make it again. Do it again. So his her name is Hirose Natsuko. I don't know what that's called. As far as I know, he's an animator. She's an animator. So some kind of debut. That's cool. Is that a girl or boy? I guess it's a boy. Oh my goodness, look at the hands. It's colorful. Oh my goodness, dude. Do you have to do this? Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my god, she will do it everything by herself? What the heck? Are they saying? Are they saying that the animators just willingly to do overtime and do the, all the things that they want, dude? Are they saying that the animator is actually happy with this? With this kind of life? Anyways. What is the... Sensu? I don't want to know the English people thinks about it. Give me one second. I want to know. Is it a roast? Roast to the MAPA employees? Literally, generally a roast? Give me one second. Mappa is originally anime about producing anime. But all I see, it looks like it could be a cozy series. I'll be watching for this. Mappa, when they realize they, they, can, they can focus on some of the most popular projects, they, they do instead wasting resources on random anime original. Looks even more specific than Shirobako's plot. Yeah, I guess. What's Mappa Bro? What is Mappa Bro? 
Mapa is an anime studio. Some of its works, you can suggest what I saw. James, what black company? What the heck, dude? I don't know if it's the black company, dude. Why do the journalists say, uh, media, uh, journalists media say genius anime director woman instead of only genius anime director is not implied in it and director is a professional box? I know, not bound by sex. Oh, not bound by, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to say anything, dude. Looks like more specific though, uh, more appeals. Um, remember, map by themselves, 100%. Do it again, redo everything, 100%. <laughs> Do it again, redo everything. Mama never rest after reading this anime script, questioning their life dissimulation. <laughs> what the heck? Are we gonna see? I gotta see overwork stuff in the anime studio. True, we need to see it, dude. We need to see It's her. She's the overwork stuff. Dude, literally, genuinely, she doesn't even have the time to cut her hair, to be honest. I don't know how she looks, but dude, I bet she's very gorgeous, dude. She should be gorgeous. It is just that she needs to cut her hair. They bet they will try to romanticize, uh, romanticize the terrible work. Uh, could be. Sounds like the one episode Paranoia Agent where the anime staff had to deal with the deadline. I was just about to ask, but you beat it to be fine. Someone can irony. It's very ironic, dude. What? Who is she? From where? From where? Shirobako. Oh my goodness, she could be. Yeah, true for Shirobako. I, I totally forgot to, to be honest. Anyways, so we get the gifts of the gifts. I mean, get get the, the, the point. Oh, uh, spoken out about Studio Mappa, saying that they are legitimately an awful studio to work for. There has been actual animators and their staff like that, you know, were freelancers working with Mappa, basically black uh, blacklisting Studio Mappa, saying they're never going to work with them again, or just not even caring if they work with them again because of just the overall treatment that they received when they were working with them. And, you know, I don't think I need to rehash everything I've talked about in previous videos, but to make a long story short, mm -hmm. Mappa has a history history of just really overworking their animators and having very bad production. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 is a very good recent example, and a quick Google search, you can instantly find a lot of people talking about my videos and other people's videos, forums, Reddit posts, etc. Yeah, all about MAPPA, dude. You can talk, you can see about that. You can find many people talking about it. I've never covered this shit, dude. The, the MAPPA thing. I've never covered this shit, the MAPPA thing. And it all because I, I totally do not have any youtube channel at that time i think so yet. yeah it's just it's become quite a big subject as of late in the last few months to mm -hmm. a year at this point and i think what really made it become more aware to the mainstream public was definitely jjk and so we fast forward to today it, with this announcement called zinshu the anime and come to find out, it's about animators working on anime, and it's being made by Studio Mappa. You can already see the irony in that, because Mappa Dude. literally overworks their employees. True, 100%. They overwork their employees. And they're making a show about animators. It is kind of ironic. It's kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of punishment. I don't know, man. It's severe punishment to the animators to say, oh my god, I'm doing... I'm doing this kind of anime wherein I could, you know, tell to the whole world what I'm doing right now. And the thing here is that what would actually MAPPA will tell the story to the whole world? Is, will they actually tell the reality wherein they actually overwork their employees? Will they actually do it in the anime format? Or will they just say, nah, being animator is actually cool in there. It's not, it's not that bad, you know what I mean? It's not that bad. But still, oh, I'm very curious what could MAPPA could, 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 could give us, you know, the plot for this. I'm curious if they will tell the real story, the real, you know, how they treat their employees, dude. They're probably going to be overworked in the show. It's clearly going to be a very meta anime, like straight up, fourth wall breaking meta series. And I truly do wonder, deep down, how long in the pipeline this series has been sitting in the background at their studio. And hear me out on that. 
I do know that when it comes to, <sighs> like, you know, when anime is released, like, for uh -huh. instance, I'm going to give a good example here. Like, uh, let's think of, you know, Hell's Paradise, and then Chainsaw Man, and then JJK, etc. You get the point, these anime in a certain order with studios, you know, they are planned in advance for years. For instance... Yeah, I understand that part. I get that part. The studio, like, I'm assuming they talk to the production committee and all these different things, and they, you know, line up what they're going to be working on for the next few years. There's these projects they know they're going to work on, but they haven't started yet, but they know what they're going to do. So, Hey, you motherfucker. Just kidding, just kidding, okay? Just kidding. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave like and, subs and comment below. You motherfucker rats. Just kidding, just kidding. You, you, your, your support means everything to me. Just and, and let... I wanna let you know your support is actually you know I mean I mean means to me a lot a lot now back to the video so we could say that during the time that uh the time that uh MAPPA has been booming you know what I mean booming were in the the employees the MAPPA employees as well as the animators actually saying so bad shit in the Twitter we could say that during that time they are actually cooking this anime for sure for sure they might be cooking this anime last year and saying, no, you know what, dude, let's just explain what our part, you know what I mean? Let's do some anime shit that, that about animators. It, it's been presented to MAPPA, and now it's been approved, you know what I mean? And it's been now, you know, now, literally today, it's been announced that there will be an anime about Zenzu, about animators. And I'm just wondering, dude, what did MAPPA think, especially the leaders of MAPPA, the management team thinks, when they saw this recommendation, when they see that they will be making an anime about animators, will they? I'm just wondering what could be the plot. I want to know is this all about how MAPPA treats the you know the animators or all about how cool, good an animator is or how how bad. To be an animator is dude they they they're the animator salary is so bad in japan literally and generally literally and generally dude it is not a good good working you know working or job or job yeah yeah it's not a good job to be honest literally and generally if you are an animator dude it is a passion it is all about passion not the money not the money but the all it's all about the passion dude Obviously, Especially if you're working with MAPPA. MAPPA overworks their employees, dude. Might be things that can fill in the they overwork their animators. Likely. I don't fully know. Don't, you know, quote me on that one. But um, basically, I do know that they kind of understand or get booked for a certain series in advance. In advance, I right. I wonder if Zenshu, this series that's obviously anime original, has no source material behind it, was already being worked dude imagine that just copy shirobako dude and make it your own yoink and twist literally and generally at least in the early stages of wanting to be worked on years ago or is uh -huh. this something that was just fit in out of nowhere as of late thanks to the overall controversy that studio mappa has been facing for yeah. the last year or so I'm very, very curious about that. I feel like it's probably just a coincidence, but regardless of no, the it's coincidence not, or not, it it's is not. ironic. There, and there should be someone in the MAPPA employee as the MAPPA doing some script. That, no, it is a good way to express what the animator says, what the animators, animators feels, and what is really happening here. This is a good, good, good way. Or just think about, oh, I see Shirobako. Let's just swing and twist that one. I don't know, man. It could be like that. Outright hysterical that Studio Mappa is making a series on this. And it's True. not adapting a manga. No, it it's is not. Original. It is original. That's what makes it even more hilarious because the team at MAPPA is the one that has to, you know, script write this and all that, write it, and it's like, isn't this kind of damning yourself, like, you know, your own studio, if you're obviously showing the struggles of being an animator? Dude, they could actually just twist it, just say that MAPPA is actually a good company with this kind of anime. It could be a, uh, you know, a uh, marketing strategy to say that MAPPA is actually a good company. They're treating well their employees, those things that happen in the Twitter and all, those posts by the animators that is actually hating MAPPA and all, those things that actually, you know, 
overworking ma overworking the animators in mapa that's all not true they, they could actually use this anime just to promote a good mapa studio you know what i mean but i don't know man it it it, it could also could also says in the anime that uh this might be also represents that oh this is how bad how how bad or struggles how struggles or uh, how how hard to be an animator you know what i mean dude in shirobako shirobako I, I felt dude i felt so 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 you know you know sad about how hard to create a simple anime and then it will not have a successful you know a successful journey you know what i mean uh in anime industry and then it is hard literally is especially the logistics part and now we are now focusing to the animators itself and uh, i'm just wondering though, how could mapa actually do it explain it dude will this be a marketing tool for people says that my ma marketing tool to to have mapa be good in the eyes of everyone or marketing tool to 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 give more you know more uh information to the public how how anim animators do their shit you know what i mean it's just like oh goodness now there is a few things to talk about when it comes to this announcement and a lot of people have been clowning on them all day today there's so many quote retweets on this original post honestly if you look like 3000 there's so many people talking about this over a million views on this post and there's many people have reposted this video that also have millions of views on it it's very clear that people are clowning on this for a good reason because of just the hilarious nature of it but one thing i do wonder is if studio map mapa would be 1000 percent more interesting if they made production but the main is making this anime so to speak to have a pr stunt now i feel like you know with any corporation they always need to have a way to have a pr team to be able to make themselves look better that's just it's a typical company yeah it could be a pr dude to look map a good better to do and i think that studio map of potentially doing a pr stunt wouldn't necessarily be too far-fetched yeah. Now, with all that being said, though, even if they did or they are making this anime for a PR stunt, let's talk about what this could actually do for them. So, if they did hypothetically make this anime because of the controversy as of late, yeah. this anime is going to paint probably Studio Mappa in a good light. And good. I think anyone that actually watches this with their eyes open and realizes the meta nature of what the show is presenting... I feel like it has the chance of making Studio Mappa look even worse. Because if they try to make it seem like the animators are never overworked or have very bad hours, etc. It's going to basically contradict what Studio Mappa has been doing. Because there has literally been animators that have spoken out about them. And if they make a show that doesn't show anything like that or a certain example of just like animators being very unhappy. It, it's going to make them look worse. And I wonder if their PR team... If this is a PR anime for them, do they realize that? Now, let's just go on another hypothetical. Let's say We don't know yet, dude, because it's not yet airing. But as far as I can see in the trailer, dude, we could actually assume that this animator, that the girl, actually did not have a life outside, outside the anime studio. Literally and generally. Look at the hair, dude. Look at her hair. I don't know, man. It could be actually. I don't know. I, I'm actually curious, to be honest. I, I you know, I'll I just watch it. In the this is this is interesting. They've been working on this. Then it's still gonna make them kind of look bad because they're making a show about animators being overworked when their very studio does this to their animators. So True. They're, they're damned if they do or don't, no matter what. But it's just like, regardless, a very interesting choice. But regardless, it will paint. At the end of the day, it will have a negative impact to MAPA. If you think about it, at the end of the day, is MAPA actually thinking that they could actually sway the people? You know, I don't know. What they're thinking, dude. For all studios to do this. I know that, you know, there's a lot of anime <sighs> studios that it's... All of them are at fault. There's only a slight few, like KyoAni, that can, you know, obviously be noted as treating their employees correctly. But, like, 
basically the entire anime industry it's very toxic like a lot of overwork a lot of production issues it is not a mappa issue but they're clearly the front and center face of the issues as of late because of just the popularity of the shows that they decide to Dude, imagine this anime could be a number one anime of all time it could be if they actually present the real thing you know what i mean if they actually do the real thing you know what i mean it could or or if they actually you know do some uh drama thing in this anime it could potentially be a number one anime of the season it could if they do it right because people loves drama people literally genuinely loves drama and if this anime create a drama especially this is mapa dude it will blow up it will literally and genuinely blow up and if it is good then it could potentially be number one in the season potentially and and we actually watch it it's the animation is actually good to be honest the color palette is good and how they actually just animate those things dude oh my goodness that is gorgeous Adapt. it's Adapt. all about the story right now the the animation itself is good and it's all about the story how will they actually explain it that's why they're constantly mentioned but um overall we'll see where this goes i am actually interested in the show i do think let's be blunt here Regardless of Mappa's issues, for production and animators and all that, the show is probably going to be kind of a banger. Like, let's, let's be completely for sure. Honest. The art and animation is probably going to be very good. But if there will be some issues or drama with Mappa, imagine, dude, this anime could have a potential issue of you know delays, <laughs> and then, dude, Mappa actually have problems dude it could blow up dude imagine that it could be a drama people loves drama i'm not saying that everyone loves drama i would i'm saying that people actually kind of like drama if there will be some kind of drama they will read it they will watch it regardless dude it will give them interest if that's the case then everyone will be interesting to check it this anime Good. It's going to be a very good slice of life show, probably very reminiscent of Shirobako, if anyone True. knows that. And that, that's something I actually do need to mention. Shirobako was a show that came out about like seven, eight years ago, maybe even longer. 14. But it was also an anime originally focused on animators' lives and getting to see just the stress of working on shows. And I wonder if this is going to be another take to that, basically very similar, similar vein, but just different characters, etc., We'll have to see, but overall, I am interested in the show, legitimately. I'm going to watch it, definitely going to love to see it, but I am curious on how they're going to actually fully pre you know, present the show. But I'll leave it at that. I was just, I want to talk about this because it was absolutely hilarious when I woke up this morning to actually see this. And like I said, the community is clowning on Studio Mapper right now, and for good reason, honestly. And I just, I don't know, it's just, how do you feel? How? How do you feel about this news? Are you going to watch it? Are you going to skip it? You know, let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below as well if you want to watch it or you're going to skip it. Dude, me personally, I'm going to watch it for sure, for sure, 100%. Literally and genuinely, dude. Literally and genuinely. A hundred percent, dude. What can I say? It is a very, very, very interesting. Interesting, dude. Literally and genuinely. Lit yeah, you, you mother father watching this video, dude. Just kidding. <laughs> Just again, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time here. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for tuning in today's videos. If you are enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to hit the like button below. Your support means the world to me and helps my channel grow. And if you haven't already, be sure to leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you. And your feedback helps me create even better content, dude. And of course, uh, you're, if you're new here, if you are really new here, consider, su consider subscribing to my channel. I have new videos coming up every day that you won't want to miss speaking of which don't go anywhere else yet and don't go anywhere just yet by clicking on the video right now in the screen you will get exclusive access to even more entertainment and interesting interesting videos that you will be interested plus it's a perfect way to stay up to date with all the latest happenings on my channel so uh, thanks again for watching i'll see you again next time goodbye